bear in mind, guys, you need to create a new file called forms.py to, to make use of Django forms. I just realized we need to create a second page and I completely forgot about it because I was about to render the or request the next template but we didn't even create it yet but here I'm gonna cheat a little bit because what I want is actually the layout to be exactly the same and all I want is is when I render out this layout of our page right now it's just um, right now it's just reading out as a paragraph and what I want it to do is become a text area. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Time for some research. So basically what we wanted is to create the exact same layout for our input page where this part here would basically be a text area. Now what I found out is that Django does have a text area as a form field. So that's great. And I can, I can use CSS to style it. So I found something in Stack Overflow that I, that I can abuse. I'm just going to customize it to my needs and then make use of it. Okay, sweet. So what I've done is, is I've basically I've basically created a second page and I copy pasted it. I didn't adjust all the cards yet. Um, and I just noticed I forgot to change the footer. All right, now we basically have, we should have everything ready after all the errors that we got. So in my urls.py, I included the link to the page. In the views.py, we got the function to post our data, to get our data and post it. And we get our data via the form. So in our models, as you can see, it's really simple, our forms, it's really simple, it's a text input. Wait, this should have been text, oh God. This should have been text area. Okay, save. No. Great, so, and we have a model, we have a form, we have a create post, we have our form action, submit button. Now I know this should be over here, but we will do that in a bit. Let's first check whether this works, please work
it's quarter past 12 and I really at the very least want to make sure I'm able to pass data to the data model and we need to register this URL Okay, at this point, I'm going to be honest. The forward slashing is really sometimes something I struggle with. So I'm just trying out combinations and I'm really hoping this one works. I really hope this is not a stupid mistake to just make migrations. This actually happened to me before. I'm not rendering out the data, but I also don't know whether I am actually registering the data properly. properly. So what I can do is I can go to my shell here and uh, I can go uh, cd into uh, subs. Uh. Basically, if you don't know what I'm doing right now, you can start up your own Python shell where you, where you can run Python code. And this is one of the ways I can dive into the database in the Django model to see if our object was actually created or not. So here I have to say, Okay, the good thing is we created our object. We created our data. It is not being rendered, which means that in our HTML page, we need to include a Django data dynamic data tag or a, da a piece of code that will allow us to show the data here. And that's over here. Uh, only for Okay, we're halfway there. It gives me the query object, object number one, but obviously I want to see the text. <coughs> I forgot to include the field name, as you can see here. Okay. Whoa, calm down. It works and that's it for today we've created our basic project Django project we've created our layout we've created our cards and we've made our basic model and form work tomorrow I will continue in and see if I can finish it by rendering out for each part I need to design the model in such a way that each day will be we can enter data for each day and pass data through the form for each day for now i'm happy we've got this win i'm going to call it a day <laughs>